let's make it hey guys i'm going to show you how i made this barbie necklace first you're going to want to start off with some sculpey primo in white and this craft smart flower mold got at uh, michael's and then you're going to want to cut the excess away after you mush it in there really well and then um, you're going to smooth the edges by dragging them lightly inward Now when you remove this, you're going to have to be extra careful, but uh, it should pop right out. Now we're going to use some UV resin with a little hot pink alcohol ink and a little low density white alcohol ink. Now I'm going to give that a good mix. And it's the perfect color, yay! So you're going to just swirl it on the center there and then uh, cure it for a bit. Now you're going to use some clear, just plain old UV resin and we're going to go over the top of the flower. You also want to get the sides of the flower and really get the UV resin into those grooves. I had to use a little stick here to keep it from moving around on me. And don't worry if the UV resin kind of drips down the sides and onto the mat. We're going to sand the backs of these anyway. Now we're going to cure it again. Look at all those flowers. Ooh, here comes the next part. I'm so excited. Sanding them. You're gonna go from 180 grit wet dry sandpaper all the way up to 800 grit. And um, this is gonna be really, really tiring. Your fingers are gonna cramp because you have to do this for all the flowers and there's like 20. Look how smooth. Okay, next we're gonna take some um, jump rings and just um, slide them down on your needle, whatever these round pliers are. Uh, make sure that the seam lines up with the um, center of the plier knobs, and then you're gonna wanna gently pry it open. You don't wanna open it too much because then it'll get a weird bend in it. Now you're gonna wanna put down a little bit of UV resin on the back, and then take one of those pre-opened jump rings, and then, um, you don't want to put it flat, you just kind of want to do it at like a 45 degree angle so that it's not like poking into you or resting on the flower, then you can't string it. Then cure that really quick and then we're going to do the same on the other side. When you're adding the second jump ring, you kind of, you don't want them like directly across from each other, you kind of want them going up towards the, the center of the flower, the top of the flower, at an angle. Now you're gonna to wanna to take some beading thread. I'm just using a really thin fishing line here. And um, I'm putting one pearl bead um, all the way at the end and I'm just trying to tie it off as best I can. Start to see it on camera. Um, I'm trying to tie it as best I can so the other beads don't fall off. Okay, now I'm just grabbing a handful of the pearls. I'm gonna put eight of them um, to start the necklace. And then there's also gonna be eight at the end. So you just wanna string those as best as possible. It's kinda hard. Now take your first flower and we're going to thread it from the outside and then wrap it around that first jump ring and to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And then um, you're gonna come in from the inner side for the other jump ring and then wrap it around. That way it kind of like flows with the necklace. Now I'm taking three pearl beads and these are just gonna be the spacers in between the flowers and you're gonna thread those and then you're gonna do the same thing you did with that first flower for the second flower and then on with the rest of them. I'm really sorry you guys, uh, my hand was out of range of the camera, but like I said, you're just gonna do the same thing with that second flower that you did with the first one and same thing, you're gonna bead three pearls on there and then you're gonna add another flower. I had a bit of trouble tying the knot, so I'm not even gonna put that in. But you're gonna like thread your thread through that little golden thing and then tie a knot, and then you're gonna crimp it closed and cut off the excess. For the earrings, you're gonna to wanna to only put one jump ring on. 
then you're going to want to attach your findings like the hooks and things, lobster claws, and there you have it.